dead. Dead. Not dead. Not dead. But if you see this, this is what I'm worried about with some of these trees. A lot of brown near the tips. And if I rub the needles, they're falling off in my hand. Hey everybody, it's Phil here at Woods Tree Farm again. Thanks for tuning in today. And uh, we've got near record heat here in the eastern U.S. And I'm starting to have an issue with my trees. We haven't gotten enough rain. It's been too hot. And I'm starting to see some heat stress and some heat damage. And some dying trees as a result of what I believe to be uh, these hot and dry conditions. So I'm going to do what I can to um, get the pump running and get as much... Uh, water down on the ground as I can here in these two, two and a half hours that I have. And I went ahead and bought some extra hose. And uh, if you go back a few videos ago, uh, I'll put a link up in the description actually, because it was a little while ago, I set up an irrigation system with a basic trash pump. That irrigation has a manifold on it that can split out three different ways. Uh, I've only been using two of those, so I picked up some more hose today so I can get the third one running. And like I said, hopefully here in the short amount of time that I have today, I'm just going to get as many gallons on the ground as I can and just hoping to uh, save as many of these trees through this hot spell as I can. So let me show you what I got here. in the back of the truck uh, I stopped by the home center I've got some more of this regular uh, three-quarter inch uh, black plastic pipe that's like what you might use for your lawn irrigation this is a hundred feet of that I've got another hundred feet of regular garden hose and then I have two 75 foot stretches of soaker hose. I don't know how this stuff's gonna work out, especially since I'm using the pond water and there's a lot of sediment in it. I think these might clog up, but if they work well, I'll end up getting more of them. But I have two 75 foot runs of those. So I'll use the soaker hose in conjunction with some sprinklers. And like I said, just try to get as many gallons down on the ground on as many trees as I can here in this two and a half hours that I've got. All right, so I'm actually going to go ahead and uh, start the pump with the two lines that I have. And while those are running, I'm going to hook up this third line. Um, so while I'm doing the work by the pump, it's going to be loud. I'm not going to talk any. So uh, enjoy the music. All right, so all three lines are hooked up now. Uh, I'm running now to put the soaker hose on the new line. I actually didn't have hose clamps, so everything's just hooked together dry. And I know this pump isn't super high pressure, so hopefully that works out all right. I'm gonna hook this last soaker hose. I'm gonna hook this last soaker hose up to the newest line, and then we'll see if it holds the pressure. Alright, let's go turn the valve on and see what it does. It's hot. Can you tell my shirt's soaked? Alright, third one is on. go over here to this line that's farthest to the right and I'm gonna get it hooked up to a sprinkler the hose has just been running wide open somewhere over here there it is
All right. It was too hot. I didn't feel like dragging the hose and the camera. But off there in the distance, we've got one of the sprinklers running. Okay. We'll swing back and check on these hoses. Well, it's hard to tell if these soaker hoses are putting out enough volume, but you know, we'll give them 15, 20 minutes in each spot and see if we have a good puddle going. It's just dripping out. So while I'm waiting for that, I do have one more 100 foot hose and then the soaker hose up here I can move, probably put another sprinkler down. But anyway, it's probably about as good as I can do with what I got. This is the first section of soaker hose that's been sitting here the longest. Let's take a look. You see most of these trees dead, 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 not dead. Not dead. But if you see this, this is what I'm worried about with some of these trees. A lot of brown near the tips. And if I rub the needles, they're falling off in my hand. So I'm gonna coil up this soaker hose and try to get see if we can't get double the soaking action on these plants here. A little pretzel going on on that one. Sort of like a pretzel on that one. All right. Dead, dead, dead. Not dead. Let's see if we can get. Yeah. See what that does. All right, so we'll let everything run for a little bit. All right, I'll look over my head. It's been about an hour and a half of watering, and I knew this was gonna happen. Put in all this work, running out here, sweating in the heat, setting up all these hoses and sprinklers, and look over there. We might, if we're lucky, get a nice little pop-up storm, drop some rain on these fields, which they need it. Hear that? That's the sound of rain. It seems to be a relatively small pop-up storm, so we'll see how much it ends up dropping. Like my hat? You can have one just like it. I have a couple different styles and colors available at woodstreefarm.com. Appreciate your support. So, all right, well that's it for today. Thanks for watching. See our little trials here, trying to keep these trees alive. Yeah, but there's a couple varieties that really haven't survived so far, haven't survived well so far. But if we look all the way up at the top of the field, our spruces, which are all the way, the last, uh, seven or eight rows that way. Spruces are doing great. They were the first ones we put in the ground. The Concolor fir are doing okay. The Canane fir where I'm walking right now have a lot of dead. And then the uh, Scotch pine have a lot of dead. And I think that's more due to the conditions in which they were planted in. Uh, not so much related to the heat because they're supposed to be pretty heat and drought tolerant plants. So um, anyway. Let me know what you guys think about my irrigation efforts out here. 
leave it in the comments. I'll catch you on the next video. See you later. If you like these kind of videos, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell icon so you get notified of future videos. Hear that? It's raining.